Hey everyone, thanks for joining. Of course, back here with Kurt. Huge announcement, you know, Q India adds 38 million homes, you know, free dish. Uh, you know, first things first, Kurt, how are you? And then I'll let you kind of take the thunder. Uh, I'm doing great. I mean, this, you know, was obviously a huge deal for us, super important. Um, uh, I probably hinted a couple of times here and there that there was some significant distribution deals in the works. Um, I think the big thing that, you know, I felt like people sort of got it at the beginning, the stock went up, it stripped it back a little bit right now. And I'm a little bit surprised. It kind of makes me think that people don't really get what this thing is all about and really means. And um, uh, I won't sandbag here, but I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll say I'll be, I'll be conservative What I feel is conservative based on a huge amount of research that we've done about free dish um, free dish is the most successful platform per users in India. Meaning if you're a, if you're a, a television channel on free dish, you get a disproportionately very high disproportionately large audience. Why is that? Well, most uh, channel groups in India, partially because of the different languages, but also just because there's a lot of channels in India. So say there's like six, seven, 800 channels on some of these platforms, like a Tata Sky, okay? So when you're on Tata Sky, you're one of maybe seven or 800 channels that's available to that subscriber base. On Free Dish, there's only about 70 channels, okay? So literally, there's more than that. I'll explain that in a second. There's actually a little over 100, but 70 entertainment channels. And... Why is that? Because you can only be on free dish if you're what's called a free to air broadcaster, meaning you're not charging fees around it. And the service is free to the users. So you've got a large group of people that watch a lot of television and they've got a much lot more limited set of channels to view. And so the result of that is you get massive uptick in audience. First of all, at 38 million people, it's the biggest platform there you know, in India, single platform, and it's free. So they get a lot of time spent watching and a lot of people who are watching stuff. In terms of the entertainment genre that we're in, I mean, number one, obviously there's no channel on Free Dish like ours because there's no channel in India like ours. So that's one of the reasons our ratings have been going up like they have been. But the, the, the big thing with Free Dish is that there's a limited number of entertainment channels that are there. So those 38 million homes only have maybe you know, a dozen entertainment oriented channels to watch from. So we have huge expectations for the performance of the channel on free dish. Yeah. Talk to, so, and I know we were chatting before I hit record. I know you guys have done some research. Uh, I mean, talk, uh, you know, not to set expectations, but, you know, let's be, let's be conservative. Um, you know, right now we're sitting out around a four, um, you know, rating like, where, what do you expect? Uh, give me a kind of, you've done the research. What do you, what do you expect adding free dish will do to the ratings? Well, I mean, the, the, the high end side of it is crazy. So I'm not even going to talk about that because no one would believe me anyway. Um, the, what, what I can tell you is this, there are channels that were on free dish that elected to leave free dish for a variety of complicated reasons I won't go into right now. And when that happened, um, I'm looking at a chart that I can't share. It's confidential, but one of them went down 80% in viewership. One of them went down 92%. One went down 74%. Another went down 86%. So their total viewership, they dropped by that much when they left uh, free dish. I've got another thing in here. Again, I'm sorry, I can't share these with the audience, but the average free dish channel gets between 85 to 90% of its ratings from free dish. Okay. So it's a massive ratings booster. What we expect right now, really conservatively, we hope is that we'll get to that magic number of, of 10 that we've been working to get to at launch, maybe even 12 possible it could go past that, but I mean, that's kind of what our goal is right now. What that means is that we'll basically go up, you know, 200%, as much as 200% in our ratings, which results in what? It drives revenue. That's what this, that's, that's what this whole thing is all about. It's about what are you doing? Now, it costs to be carried on all these systems, and Free Dish is expensive. So you've got to believe that you can generate some real ad sales revenue out of Free Dish. That's why there's an auction, and people fight to get onto the platform. And so 
the the uh, what, what free dish I think if I to, to answer the question specifically, we will be very disappointed if we don't jump up to at least a 10 GRP when we're on the platform. Maybe that doesn't happen the first week. Maybe it takes a couple three weeks for people to discover the channel and see it. But we do believe that it will be a you know dramatic uh, uh, ratings increaser. And like I said, there's a there's a blue sky version of those charts that can take you to some pretty crazy numbers. Yeah. So conservatively uh, expecting the more than double, that's a uh, pretty fantastic. Um, and like you said, obviously more ratings, more viewership, more ads, more revenue. Uh, so that's fantastic. You know, all those links are there. Um, that's incredible. Is there anything else, you know, about, you know, you've done some research or just about the channel about free dish that you want to let people know? Yeah. I think the other thing that we're super pumped about the platform. And again, we did, literally months, months, I mean, probably probably close to six months of research on the platform to make sure that this was a bet that was going to work for us and as much as you possibly can with any of the stuff. And um, the, what's interesting is if you look at the demographic information on FreeDish and their viewership, and you look at our shows and demographics and what's happening with our show viewership, it almost looks like we designed our products and channels and show times and everything for free dish which we didn't this is before we knew we were even going to get onto the platform so we believe that we align extremely well with the demographics with the viewership with what's there so i mean it this is a well let's put it this way this is by far the biggest distribution deal and the most important distribu distribution deal that we've done in the history of the company and we expect by mid-april we'll start to see the beginnings of what that really means in terms of ratings. And by the end of Q2, we will have reached a new and substantial new plateau in terms of, you know, our quest to become the most popular youth channel in, in, on Indian television. Yeah. No, well, hey, incredible, amazing update. You know, obviously you touched on uh, the bigger points and of course uh, the most successful, or you're saying the biggest distribution deal. Um, you know, here, just getting one question, uh, you know, taking it from the press release, would love you to add some insight. I saw it in the Telegram as well. You know, people are looking, hey, Q India added 38 million new TV homes. Um, but then they compare it to, well, the Q is already in 650 or 660 million. So how much of a proportion you're saying, well, really these 38 million homes are like adding, you know, X amount of mobile or this or that, you know, that's where we got, got some questions. I'd love for you to touch on, you know, how big these 38 million TV homes actually are. Yeah. Well, look, television, uh, uh, television in India still dominates in terms of the value of the advertising spend that's happening on it. I mean, obviously there's a lot of digital and mobile ad revenue growing there as well, but you know, the, the so-called CPMs or cost per thousand views on those platforms are probably 10% of what a television ad is with the kind of viewership that we're talking about. So, you know, you might get, uh, you know, 50 rupees digital and you'll get 500 for the same thing on television. So there's a huge difference there. So if you wanted to look, view it through that lens, you'd say that, you know, a hundred million TV households are worth a billion digital and mobile ad house, you know, viewership devices and households right now in today's market. There's no question that's going to change. That's going to shift. That's not going to be forever more that way. And part of the reason we're getting onto all those platforms is to do that, but we're only expecting 10, maybe 15 percent, maybe a bit more than that of our revenue in 2021 is going to be, and even to some degree, 2022, it'll be a bit more, maybe 20% uh, of our revenue will be coming from digital and mobile ad sales because of that difference. So this year, television is what's going to drive our ad sales. So I can sit here and tell you that 38 million free dish homes, not even including the way it over indexes against other television platforms. I can tell you 38 million uh, uh, free, uh, free dish homes is like three at, we just added a platform with 380 million customers in the digital and mobile space. So it's a big deal.